Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, A-B testing with Mathematics. So I already made some video about it, but this time it's about uh, one way that I have not yet played with, which is about uh, creating the dedicated page uh, in comparison to an existing one in order to redirect the traffic to this one, um, not the other one, or let's say the other one and not this one. Um, so A-B testing, it's kind of straightforward. Uh, all you need to do is to have your uh, plugin set on, uh, once it's uh, on, so once you purchase, once you get the license, so once you use it uh, within the cloud. And just go over here within the definition. For the sake of this example, what I will do is I'm gonna play uh, over here. So this is uh, one of the forms that I have on my website. As you can see, it's a form which is composed of one, two, three fields. And uh, what I decided to test is maybe people would be more interested in having a form which is even slight, uh, lighter than this one. So what I did is I went uh, within WordPress, that's I guess uh, all of you guys know. And um, what I did is I created a form which is called a simple form, and which is, uh, yeah, this one, it's called a uh, really simple form. So what I did is just I created um, uh, a basic form. I just uh, copy and paste the stuff that I did uh, over here. And um, that's the simple form that I created. So as you can see um, here, it's a sentence saying that this is the easiest form ever. It's just composed of two forms. So here I'm taking the bet that if I fight this page against uh, this one, I will probably get more um, results from this given page rather than this one okay so this one is just composed of two fields this one is just composed of three fields okay um so once you create this page which as you can see is exactly the same template as the other ones just that it has a dedicated url what you need to do is that uh, you need to copy and paste this new page that you have so as you can see it's kind of, of straightforward and what you do is that when you create your a b test over here uh you're gonna uh, go for redirects here and you copy and paste the page that you created okay the one the new version okay the, in my case that's the one about the simple form and that's it uh, i mean next part is about embedding the tracking code and matomo has done everything for you so matomo here just change the variation page and just put the redirect stuff so you don't you just need in fact to take this piece of code and copy it uh, within your uh, tag manager so Next step is just about going within uh, the tag manager to create a custom HTML tag and within this custom HTML tag you just name it AB test. Uh, so so that's that's it. So I just call it AB test. I just copy and paste the same code that you were seeing before. And now you just need to uh, decide what is the condition. So in my case it's the when they reach the page name contact me. So this this page so to say every time that people will face will go on this given page what's gonna happen is that the 50% of the people will be on this page and the other 50% will go on the other one um, in order to confirm that everything is working fine I just need to publish uh, so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna publish the whole thing so trim 38 because I'm working a lot and um, just gonna disable the preview and normally if I'm lucky enough uh, we should see different things. So um, just gonna remove this part because we don't need it. So I'm gonna go on this with this browser on the contact me page. As you can see, I'm getting the A version of my uh, of my test. And if I go on, uh, for example, on Chromium, and that I access to uh, this given page over here, as you can see, uh, just gonna refresh again the page. Oh yeah. Okay, that's it. And here, as you can see, uh, this one is entering within the other test. So normally if I do it back, okay, uh, this is interesting. What you can see here is what uh, Matomo is describing as the uh, flickering. So this uh, tiny period of time in which you will see the old version if uh, you are uh, using, let's say, the um, the lazy way, so to say, you are using the tag manager without embedding another um, uh, script on your page in order to delay this kind of change. But here, uh, what we can see is that it's it's, it's working. Uh, the only thing is just a bit annoying because we get this delay in which uh, we can clearly see the old versions coming through. But this can be uh, erased by 
adding another uh, piece of code on your website in order to say, okay, please wait for the tag manager to be loaded before um, before sending the 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 P version here. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, Matomo Analytics. How does it look like in terms of of data? I'm gonna go on my .a4 version, which is over here, and uh, yep, over here we are getting our visit log. So here, as you can see, uh, we are seeing the people which are entering within the different uh, different variation, and I guess I should see uh, well probably the other one coming through uh, later on. But th this is how it works. In fact, it's every time that you have someone who is visiting your page. Uh, is getting within the variation or is getting within the original one. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.